Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2019 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium. This particular one is deep black pearl effect. It has some extras on it. It has the 20 inch black wheels, mud flaps, and side steps. This particular one also has your usual suspects in the uh, power sunroof, panoramic uh, sunroof that is, power sunshade, easy kick open hatch, LED tail lights, bumper applique, chrome accents around the, uh, the windows and also around the bumper there. You can take a look at the side steps there. This does have keyless entry, push button start. Let's take a look inside. There is a look at your seat right there. Three seat memory right here. Also lumbar support. Uh, forward and back and then your seat back right here. These are Vienna leather seats. These are heated and ventilated. Notice the heavy perforations though. Let me get out of the sunlight there a little bit. Notice the perforations in the seats there. As you climb in, Fender Premium Audio right here. Uh, also power door locks. Power mirrors, heated mirrors, power folding mirrors. So if I turn that back there, the mirrors fold in and then fold back out. Also one touch up, one touch down on all four windows along with window locks for the rear windows. So if you got rambunctious kids that like to play with the buttons on the windows, you can lock them out. Also, power lift gate right here. This little lever here, I can pull on that and that opens the rear hatch to close it. I just pull up on that and hold it and it also closes the same rear hatch. Pretty nice. Also, automatic headlights right here. So you have automatic headlights and then you also have fog light functionality. There's your icon for the fog lights. Um, coin box for storage right there. Telescoping steering wheel. So you just pull out on that guy right there and now you can push in, raise it, lower it, lock it in wherever you need it, and then lock it back. Volkswagen's digital instrument cluster right there with three standard views. There's your widescreen, your crop screen, and your dial screen. There's also a back menu when touching and holding this view button here. It brings up this back menu where you can actually change what is displayed in those dials. I personally like the widescreen and I have an Atlas. I bought an SEL decked out kind of like this one. I don't have the side steps or anything but the same color scheme. Black wheels, black exterior and uh, Shetland interior with captain's chairs. This is a nice layout. On the steering wheel here you do have your cruise control set up right here. Um, resume and set and then also your assist systems. So this car does have lane assist, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert and front assist. Also your volume control is all right here. So you can adjust the volume for the stereo, the rate, I'm sorry, Bluetooth, or also uh, navigation right there. Oh, back to this thing here. Your fuel gauge is over here, your speed is right here, and your parking gear is over here, and your thermostat is right there for your temperature. Over here on a radio, this is an AM FM satellite radio. So it does have satellite and CD. The CD is cleverly hidden in the glove box along with the SD card readers right there. So you got two SD card readers and SD card holders right there. There's a look at your manuals right there. Wood grain interior. It goes across the dash and into the doors on both sides. It goes across and over to here. Your wipers are right here. They're rain sensing as well as two other positions, your medium and high. And you can also uh, fine-tune it with this little lever right here. But back to the radio. Like I said, AM, FM, and satellite. It does also have App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink on a system. There's also um, a USB that's part of that. This USB here, when you plug your phone into it, uh, drives that system right there, and you're able to do navigation through your phone. If you're using Apple, you can do you can do Google Maps, Apple Maps, or Waze. And if you're using Android, you can use Waze or uh, Google Maps. The rear view camera is pretty nice too. It's a full HD camera 
It also has trajectory steering, so I'm turning the wheel. You can see that yellow line move in the direction that I turn the steering wheel. Also, you can also see the bumper applique right there, but the red line signifies where your bumper is, and you don't want anything to cross that line. Dual zone, climate zone up front, and a third zone for the rear. Uh, you have these three knobs here. There's your heated seats, your ventilated seats. You can actually run them simultaneously. It's not that hot today, so I'm not going to run that, but uh, you get the idea there. Um, the menu button here allows you to bring up this touch screen icon or menu here where you can actually change your temperature. I can turn off the sink and turn it on. I can raise and lower my temperature by touching the red side or the blue side. I can also change my fan speed just by moving that, touching that little circle right there. And I can do the same thing for the back, the, the middle row and the third row passengers. That back one controls the C-pillar vents that are in the rear windows at the third row and also the uh, center console vent that's uh, right behind the first row. There's a look at those dials again. Um, you do also have a rest button which allows you to recirculate air throughout the car. When the car is turned off, um, it's just going to circulate any kind of air. It's basically a fan. It just blows whatever residual air is in the car around. There's a, wind, there's a, a rear uh, uh, center console lockout right there so you can lock kids out for that so they can't keep playing with the fan speed and the temperature in the back. Also, this car has air care. Air care is going to be in a filtration system. You'll see a little blue line that expands and covers the entire cabin there. It's basically filtering out any of the uh, uh, bad allergens or pollutants in the air before it circulates in the cabin. That's a nice feature to have. Again, there's a look at that USB, 12 volt charger there, and also an auxiliary port there. You have a secondary USB right here in the armrest, which is a nice sized armrest for storage. My wife stores her medium sized person there, no problem. Here's a look at your key fob for this car. It's a nice light key fob. There's the look at the edge right there. Fits in your pocket. It's slim so it doesn't take up a lot of space in your pocket. There's your remote start key uh, button right there as well as unlock and lock and the rear hatch there. Also, this is an all-wheel drive vehicle or four motion vehicle. So you have this little knob right here where you can change the display there. You can change it to snow, normal, off-road, or off-road custom. Off-road custom allows you to tweak all of these different things. You can change different setups here. Uh, sport, normal, and eco. Also by turning that back I can bring it back to the regular roadway. And then I can also change to an eco, normal, sport, and custom on these guys right here. Alright, here's my electronic parking brake. I can pull up on that right there. Uh, and then here is a 360 camera. 360 camera comes up on screen I can change my view just by touching any of these icons here uh, and then I also have park assist in this one uh, park assist will help park itself it's perpendicular parallel parking um, that you can do there I won't demonstrate that in this video I already have a video of that up as you look at the leather seats again here and that wood grain interior uh, up above vanity mirror with lights on each side yeah, that on both sides here. And then you also have this giant panoramic sunroof with the power sunshade. That button right there opens and closes the sunshade. There's a look at that sunroof. Pop-up windscreen pops up for that as well. Nice looking sunroof set up there. Um, also, you have Carnet. This is your information, roadside rescue, and uh, emergency services right here. Um, you can touch one of those and get connected to a call center. You also have three-door garage door memory. So let's take a look at the middle row. So this car comes in at 52,380. The extras are going to be uh, the captain's chairs. Uh, factory hitch extras, monster mats, the triple spoke wheels in black, splash guards, privacy cover, rear bumper applique, luggage net, and also roadside assistance kit. So you got all of that stuff as extras. Here's a look at those captain's chairs. They're also heated in the second row. And they have latch hookups right here 
and also right over there as you look up again at that giant panoramic sunroof here's the center console where you can actually lock it out up front there's two USB ports right here as well as a three-prong plug-in right there 115 volt right there there's another vent in the floor right there that covers your back passengers as well as two C-pillar vents back there in his rear windows on these windows in the second row there's also a sunshade that lifts up to protect your babies from direct sunlight and a look at the cup holders and bottle holders in the doors what's nice about these seats is if you do have a rear facing car seat I'm sorry a front facing car seat or a booster you lift up on this handle here and you can slide forward and your passengers climb into the back row and adjust their headrest and then they're ready to go to put this seat back you just lift up and push back uh, there's also a locking armrest right here and then also there's a reclining function right here where the seat will fold flat as well as the third row seats as we get those 20 inch wheels love those the mud flaps there and that bumper applique on the back now this is the only place on the vehicle where it says Atlas right here on the back tailgate and again that's a power lift gate here's a look through from the back to the front and look at that giant panoramic sunroof the center cluster there the Shetland interior uh, they've thought out of every detail they even put black carpet on the back of the seat there so when the seats are folded down you don't scuff them up or damage them uh, at all so they're designed to be a little more rugged seat belt clips right here on the side also a 12 volt charger a cigarette adapter right there there's a look at your vents for the c-pillar for the third row passengers to fold these seats down you just simply lift up on this guy right here and push it down same with this guy right here seats fold down this particular unit comes with cargo blocks along with two sets of mats the cloth mats the monster mats also a roadside assistance kit and there's a look at the cargo net and then underneath this floor right here this guy right here that is your privacy cover it goes across to this side here let's see if I can lift this up with one hand here there's a look at your privacy cover stored under the floor there also has the hitch extras there is your quick release subwoofer and below that is going to below this carpet is your spare so it's a full-size spare as well a look at that bumper applique and that tow hitch there and your power lift gate button right there so this car comes with a six year 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty from Volkswagen six year 72,000 miles and bumper to bumper also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's make sure you ask for me if you come in if these videos have helped you please ask for me do me that favor when you come in and ask for me and we sell you a car you're actually going to get a 10 year 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty that's nationwide so you can fly in and drive out same day so if you're in Ohio you're in Kentucky you're in Illinois you're in Missouri you're in Kansas Arkansas Oklahoma come see me you're not too far away it's a nice drive you can come see the arch in our brand new aquarium and even the St. Louis wheel there's lots of attractions to come see while you're here also the car does have uh, two, uh, sorry, three years of free maintenance. Your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil change. Our dealership will pay for those for you as long as you're in town for those. Uh, come see us. Uh, we'll take care of those for you. You have to do those at our dealership. But if you're interested in this car, please give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. Or on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.